everyone, and welcome back to another Harvey Bay adventure. There's still tons of shells on the beach. I'm very excited to be here, even though it is such a gloomy day. I've just spotted my first shell find right here. Look at this little guy. Isn't he freaking lovely? I'm pretty sure that is a formidable turd. I hardly ever find these guys. I only ever find like one or two per trip when I come here. So yeah, what a great one to start me off with. As always, when I'm here, I would like to uh, pick up a couple of these, maybe on camera, maybe off camera. Got myself a lovely Flinders Venus right here with all those lovely little steps along its shell. Looks like we got a Haynes Turban right here. First Haynes Turban today. Ooh, you know, he's pretty nice on top. Definitely empty, by the way. He's got lovely colors and patterns. All right, he's in the, uh, he's in the bucket of chaos. Oh, he's just a small little dude. Oh, he's whole. I was not sure if he was going to have like a big massive hole in him. Okay, his tip is a little bit gone. Wow, it's just a pretty little nutmeg shell. Uh, specifically, it is the jeweled dog whelk. Wow. Ooh, yeah, this Haynes turban's got a very nice deep color on it. Alrighty. Yeah, the last one was, uh, is it any different? Yeah, this, this new one has got a little bit of like yellow in it. Okay, he's pretty nice as well. Oh, don't drop it. Oh, he's got a nice point. Look at him. Oh, he is decent. Okay, maybe he might need a little bit of oil when a little bit of oil when he gets home. Oh, it's just a nice burnt edge droop. Uh, or burnt edge rock shell. Oh, he's just very nice. Oh, look at that one. I can really see its lip is a bit broken. Oh, it's more than just its lip. Oh, anyway, it sits nice enough. There we go. It is a lovely little long-tailed spindle shell. Oh my goodness, first bladder moon snail I've seen today. Oh, he's got a pretty nice lip. Oh my goodness, look at that guy. Isn't he absolutely lovely? I mean, I know I always pick up like a whole bunch of these every time I come here, but wow, they're just so painterly with those colors. And look at him, just next to the bladder moon snail, sort of. Got myself another jeweled dog whelk. Very nice. Oh, well, I came to look at that one, just saw him. Yeah? Oh yeah, that's a pretty not bad uh, Campbell Strombus. A little bit broken on that lip, a little bit faded, but it's still nice. I actually wanted to see this one. Are you any good? Oh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Let me just wash him out a bit. It's a propeller arc shell. Also just saw another one over here as well. Let's grab him up. Yeah. Yeah, wow. He's got a lot of color, lots of mud on him too. There we go. Very, very cool kinds of crooked bivalves. How do you look good, sir? Are you nice? You are? Ooh, you are nice. There we go. Got myself the first sorted moon snail for today. Oh, don't drop it. He's very slippery with all that mud on him. Oh, that one's got a lot of his patterns on. How do you look, sir? You look like you got a... Oh, yeah, you got a perfect tip. Look at him. Looks like a little bit of his markings have worn away on the top, but he sits nice. He looks nice. Alrighty, that's another keeper. This one, what's this? Oh, it's half of one of those lamellate venuses. My goodness, I've never seen such a black one before. Um, also, wow, he's got lovely ruffles. I do like that nice contrast. Big shame he doesn't have his other half, but you know, that's still cool enough to keep. That is really nice. Oh, a little scaly scallop. Yeah, just in the mud. Oh, he looks whole. Uh, ooh, he's pretty. Alrighty, wow, I really like this guy. Isn't he wonderful? What a great pop of color. Oh, yes, jackpot. Oh, yes. Oh my goodness, it's lovely and joined. It is the lamellate venus. Also, lamellate meaning scaled or plated. Wow, the ridges on it are very nice. It's got like this lovely yellowish cream tone on them. I don't know if you can see that. Wow, it's just a very nice one. Also totally empty in there, thank goodness. Oh, look at him! First Murex today! Oh my goodness, he is lovely and frilly and colourful. It does look like he's missing quite a lot of his lip from that um, corner point down to the bottom though. Oh, he sits nice enough though. Oh, I like him! This guy is a scary Murex. Wow, shame about that big break. I think he might be one of the most colourful ones I've ever seen. Oh, that one's nice. Yeah, his lip looks really good too. It is the yellow bladder moon snail. Oh my goodness, from here we get the uh, gray green colored ones and we get the yellowy cream colored ones. All of them have that lovely blue swirl too. Actually, he might go into the backpack. He's a good one. Hmm, there's just a little slit worm shell right here. Yeah, it looks all intact, lovely, sweet and swirly. 
Um, I don't see too many of them at this beach, actually. I see more of them at the, uh, the usual beach down south. Anyway, yeah, that's a pretty fun one. Oh, I like his swell. Oh, wow, look at this one. Oh my goodness, his lip looks so good. His colors are so good. He is a nice size. Wow, that is a lovely bladder moon snail. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, just love it. And it just like, wow, it's got kind of like a stripe right there where it just goes from dark to light. Oh, it's a fun one. Hello? Hello? Ooh, look at him. Oh my goodness, he's a lot of a, a lot more of a paler color than the usual gray green ones I see. It's got a lot more like cream tones through it. Oh, and his lip is perfect as well. He is absolutely beautiful. Like, look at that yellow swirl right around that blue eye. It makes the blue eye really stand out on this guy. Got lovely peach colors through there and orange. Oh, I love this guy. I love him so much. Uh, whoa, it's nice, everyone. Oh my goodness, there's like a bunch of bladder moon snails, like nice ones, one after the other. Oh, don't drop it. Also, there is a nice little sorted moon snail next to him too. Oh my goodness, they're just, I mean, they're such lovely snails. How do you, snail shells, how do snails know how to make these beautiful homes? Well, that's a cool one. Usually I see a bunch of these together, but this guy looks like he's just on his own. It is the mirror clam, also called the wonder clam. Yeah, he's just a cute little bivalve that I find here. Lovely when they're all joined like this too. How many of these do I need to film? All of them. Oh, he's nice. He is so nice. Look at this one. I mean, yes, once you've seen one, you've seen them all, but I don't know, they're all just like a little bit different with those lovely painterly like stripes on them. Already got myself another absolutely wonderful bladder moon snail. Look at this guy. Yeah, with the color on him, I reckon he is a conical moon snail. They're always like a, a darker brown or, or a brown and cream color. Oh, he's fun. He's got really like unusual black spots on his swell right there. Spent down to get that uh, conical moon snail. This was literally right next to me. Oh, oh, look at this. There's a big, um, there's a big Pacific jewel box fused onto this scary murex. Oh my goodness, that's super unique. Um, I honestly, I probably would have preferred it without that fuse there. They, I don't even know if I can get that off, to be honest. There we go. Got myself a scary murex with the bottom half of a Pacific jewel box. Wow. Look at the color on this sweet, swirly, uh, sorted moon snail. Oh, his, uh, his lip is very nice. He's got like a bit of a, a black swirl around there, but he's just got like lots of, lots of striations of nice colors. Alrighty, I like him too. Turkey wing, how do you look? Are you whole? Oh, you know. Yeah, I think it is whole. Oh, I like the color on him. He's like almost like tigery. Actually, he reminds me of my cat. He He's ginger and white like my cat, so I love him. Uh, this guy is also called the Indo-Pacific Arc Shell, but a lot of people call them turkey wings, of course, because they look like one. Oh, Lucky Maddie. Oh, and there's a, <laughs> there's always a bladder moon snail next to everything will take him. Lucky Maddie for this one though. This is the one I want. Oh, wow. Wow, it looks pretty good, everyone. It's got like a perfect lip on this uh, Campbell Strombus. I don't think it's an adult yet because the lip hasn't like flanged out more. It's very thin right now. Nice color on him. I better give him the sniff test. Yeah, he's good. He doesn't stink. Okay, we're taking him and he's going in the backpack. You know, the safety of the backpack where the shells do not smell. Got ourselves the first keyhole limpet today. They are quite uncommon, actually borderlining on rare at this beach. There we go. Lovely, lovely keyhole limpet. He's got like a nice bit of color on him too. Uh, he might have been influenced by the mangrove's tannin, I guess. He's, he's like the mangrove tannin color. Wow. Oh, he's whole. Look at him. For real though. Oh my goodness. A little bit of tiny incrustation right there. That'll pop right off. Wow. This Hanes turban, I'm telling you, this is going to be like the richest, darkest colored one. Also the most whole with his lip. Also the nicest condition. Oh my goodness, I love that guy. That is amazing. Like the first two I picked up today, there's like a real difference. Actually, I don't know if these are the first two. I picked up a few off camera. See how much lighter they are? They're just so pale. Oh, the dark one's super nice and fresh. His point is way better too. I'll pick up one of these guys as well. It is the uh, beautiful pill arc. Yeah, I rather like these joined ones that still have their periostricum on them. It's very, very cool. Oh, look at that conical moon snail. He's got great color on the bottom. Oh, he's got nice color on the top too. Look at him. Wow. 
lovely tan and deep brown with some whites on that swell. Oh, it's so beautiful. Got a bit of a white butt too, or I guess that's where the head comes out actually. You can go with my off-camera bladder moon snail because there are just so many bladder moon snails. I'm picking them up whenever I see a nice one. There we go. Wow. I crouched down to look at the tiniest bladder moon snail I've ever seen before. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's pretty cute. Okay. I didn't notice until I crouched down for it that this guy's right here. Oh, wow. Look at him. He is a violet neurite. All of his violet color has been worn off of him. It's a bit of a shame. Um, yeah, he's just really nice. I love the neurites. I'm a bit unhappy that he's lost all of his violet color, but still, that's a pretty funny looking guy. I like him. I don't think I've picked up one of these yet. There we go. Got myself a spotted strawberry top shell. Actually, this one's quite nice. And uh, oh, I might pick it up. Why not? Uh, a, a conical moon snail. Very nice. And a U-Haul. You are... Ooh. Oh, he's nice. Oh, his tip is actually perfect too. And his lip is perfect. It is one of the cream colored bladder moon snails. There we go. Hello, how is the lip on you? It's, ooh. Oh, it's pretty nice. There we go. Got myself another great bladder moon snail. All moon snails, all the time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at how big this one is. Wow. Wow, you know, this could be one of my absolutely largest conical moon snails. That is a big boy. That's nice. He's got a good weight about him, too. He's got some heft. Uh, yeah, he goes in the bucket. Well, I, I just moved to the middle rack line after spending some time at the back rack line. Just saw him. Look at this lovely strombus. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, definitely empty on the inside. Wow, would you look at that lovely color and pattern on it? That point is so nice. That lip is so whole and lovely. Okay, everyone, it gets the sniff test. Yes, it's not stinky. Oh, he's even more wonderful in my eyes now. There we go. Lovely Campbell's Strombus non-stinky variety. Ah, that one with the red around it. That's the bottom of a thorny oyster. How do you look, sir? Are you any good? You are... You're only a little bit thorny, but his pattern's kind of interesting. So yeah, I guess I'll take this one. Um, I've got no idea if the uh, the name I put up on screen for these ones is accurate or not. I, I had a really hard time uh, finding a correct match to ID these ones. And look at this one. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. He's not bad. Actually, the reason I said ooh is because I just noticed this. What's this? <gasps> what? What is this one? Oh my goodness, everyone, look at the color on this guy. Isn't that freaking wonderful? He's got a lot of like incrustation on top of him. I've got no idea what he is. Look at that lovely maroon with the cream stripe through it. I have zero clue what this is. Oh, that one looks cool. Are you whole? Oh, it is whole, there we go. Ah, oh, wow, I really like those uh, red chevrons through these guys. I see them from time to time here, but they're not usually in such nice condition. I'm pretty sure this one's name is just the Tapestry Venus. I could be getting that wrong. This is just from memory. Yeah, it's just a very nice bivalve. Very flat too. Wow, you know, I've actually been seeing a lot of Campbell's strombuses with their patterns still intact today. There we go, there is yet another one. Wow, this one's got like a big knob right there. That's pretty cool. Definitely an adult one too. Yeah, it's just um, a lovely Campbell's strombus. All that uh, coloration there. I think that might be from the sand coming through on the other side. Anyway, yeah, another great one. Mid moon snail. This one caught my eye because he's a, like a warmer tone. Oh, oh wow. Well, he's definitely a warmer tone. Not just on the bottom, but on the top as well. I've got no idea what all this red stuff is. It kind of comes off when you like give these guys a rinse under some warm water. Oh, his lip's really nice. Oh, okay, I just like this one. So here are the shell finds for today, and if you've enjoyed them, please hit that like button for me and subscribe if you want to see more shelling adventures. Oh my goodness everyone, it is a cloudy day today, but it does not stop these beautiful shells from shining in their own special way. Wow! And of course, it is the end of the video, but it's only about midday, so there is time for a part two, so stay tuned for that in a few days. But of course, let us speak of the shell favorite. <laughs> and of course, tell me as well, which ones were your favorites down in the comments? My favorite today, you know, they're all just a little bit different, all just a little bit exciting. I think I might have three, three favorites today because they're all just like, the shells are just so different with their shapes and colors. Shell favorite number one, it's going to be this guy. Look at this absolutely lovely Hanes turban shell. Oh my goodness, he's gonna clean up very nice. He's mostly clean already. I just gotta get rid of whatever that little thing there is. And it's just gonna be absolutely beautiful. Love the extra dark color on him. Love those patterns. Just think he's a wonderful turban shell. My, uh, my second favorite. Oh, I just can't go past these guys. 
love this. Campbell's Strombers. In my opinion, I think he is the best one today. He's just, he's got like a nice weight about him too. He's very nice. His pattern is gorgeous. So yep, love him. And from the moon snails, I'm going to pick this guy. Look at him. He's got this like lovely, lighter, peachier color with that lovely yellow swirl that complements the darker blue. Oh, it just looks nice, everyone. It's so nice. So there we go. Those three are my favorites today. And that's it for this time, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys. Oh,